In this video, we're going to pull an analog value from an Arduino into MATLAB. To do this, we first need to build a circuit with our Arduino. By doing that, I'm going to have my fly bolts and ground go to the bus strip on my breadboard, and then wire in a basic potentiometer. We have 5 volts and ground going to 2 pins, and then I have my analog zero coming off of my center pin. And that's going to be my analog read. So when I turn this potentiometer back and forth, it will give me somewhere between 5 volts and 0 volts, depending on where it indicates. Then I can go into MATLAB once I have that circuit built. And I've got to have MATLAB know that I'm connecting it to an Arduino. So it's actually going to be an add-ons. I'm going to select Get Add-ons and go through and find this Arduino um, MATLAB support package right here. Go ahead and install that. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that in this video. And to do that now, I have to figure out where, when I built this circuit, which I already have, I'm going to find where is my device of my Arduino connected. So I'm going to search for my devices and printers and Windows. It's a different setup in a Mac computer. But I can see that my COM port 4 is where my Arduino is connected. So, what I have then is this. I need to bring in my Arduino into MATLAB for it to understand that I'm looking for it. And so I have to associate it to a value. So I'm going to set my Arduino to A. I'm going to let it know that there's an Arduino package. It now understands that word since I add, pulled that add-on in. It's connected to my COM port 4, and we're using the Arduino Uno in this situation. And so it is a different one if you are running a different Arduino. But it's going to come out with some basic diagnostics. And really what I look at this is I'm just happy that it's found it. And so I know I can move forward with my coding. So this is the code we're going to put together. And let me show you what it does before we get into it. So I can run this code. And what will happen is it pops up this window, which is just a basic plot. And I'm turning the potentiometer back and forth on my Arduino. And so it's giving me back real-time values that it sees. So we can see it's giving me test 1 is 1.4979. And then when I go through and I do it again, it's going to get to over here, and it's going to tell me what the average of all these values are there. And this time it was 2.3. So if I leave it down the whole time all the way over to 100, in this situation it should give me a true zero. Let's check. And it does. All right, wonderful. So we're doing a good thing. So I'm going to click pause on this, and I'm going to quit debugging my program. The way I'm doing this is I've brought in a couple variables right off the bat. So I've associated the number of readings to 100. So that tells me how wide that graph is going to be. And when I'm taking those recordings, I need to store them all in a matrix. So I've got a basic matrix called analog, which is a zeros matrix. So it has one row of 100 columns, because that's where I got this, all of zeros initially. And then I'm going to do a test, and I'm going to have that just associate to zero. And so we're starting off with our initial test at zero. Then I'm going to run a while loop. And it's going to continually run until I, I turn the program off. And by doing that, I'm saying while wow, one equals equals one. I could have just put one, but I like that better for some reason. And so once we start this while loop, I'm going to go in. I'm going to accumulate the value of the test by going test equals test plus one. So now it's test is one. I'm going to have it set a variable of all values to zero. And I'm going to continually re like reset that every time I run this while loop. And then I'm going to run a for index loop. And what's going to happen is for every time, for one all the way up to two, 100, I'm going to run this over and over again. And so my first command, I'm going to go into my analog matrix. I'm going to go to my first column there. And I'm going to set it to my voltage that I'm reading off my Arduino, because again, that's the variable I associated to, and the pin A0 on my Arduino, which is the pin that I connected the wire to. Then, with that, I'm going to take that analog value, right, since that was set to index 1, that same number that we just set, and add it to all values. That's going to allow me to accumulate them and get an average later on. I'm going to pause for a tenth of a second, and I'm going to plot to analog so we can actually see the, the data as it goes forward. I thought it was nice to add a limit to it and that way 
the graph stays kind of consistent between reads, so it doesn't readjust every time it opens up. So I added negative 1 to 6, and that gives me a value below, because the potentiometer on the Arduino is going to allow us to have a voltage of 5 all the way to 0. I add a label on my graph of voltage, and then once that's done, it's going to run it again. So it ran it for 1 here, we're going to go back, run it for 2, so we're going to go to our analog index, my second column. I'm going to read the voltage again on A0, add that to my all values, so my previous value and my new value, so I accumulate it, wait a tenth of a second, and replot. So it's plotting a hundred times there. So when we see that line go across the screen, it's actually replotting a hundred times. Then, once we've done my hundred reads there, I'm going to take my, I'm going to find the average of my values. So I'm going to take all values, which has been added to over and over and over and over again, right, a hundred times, and I'm going to divide it by my number of readings. So here I've gone between one and a hundred, and so I've taken a hundred values and added them into all values, and I'm going to divide it by a hundred and get my average. Once that's there, I'm going to print out my values to my command window by using this fprintf command. So it's going to give me the word test, it's going to give me the decimal value of the test that I'm running, and then it's going to give me a value with four decimal points um, for my analog. And the way I can see that work is that I have this variable associated to my first spot here, so my decimal value is test, and my floating variable here to the fourth is average value. I end my program and then I repeat all the way back up here to while one equals one and run again and again and again. Let's look at it one more time. Oh, it's over here, hides. So now I'm running again and it's going through and it's checking all those values back and forth, back and forth. And it'll run through and once it gets to the end, it's gonna send me out my test value. Let me increase the size on this window here. And so if I let it run all the way across the top, I should get five for my number of volts, right? Let's go all the way down to the zero. I'm not gonna get zero on this run, but it'll be pretty close. And what's nice about this is by having this code sort of there, I'm able to pull in rapidly a lot of value from my Arduino and be able to sort of use that to debug some things that I'm trying to run through my MATLAB program. And so it'll be pretty handy for me to utilize as I go further with my, my MATLAB Arduino experience. And so hope this worked out and uh, it's useful. So check it out.